that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. Congratulations, everyone. Yeah, lots of smiles today. This was an incredibly special day for our colleague Andre Sr., who is now officially a U.S. citizen. Today he took the oath of allegiance during a naturalization ceremony in San Francisco. And this was the culmination of a long journey for Andre, who spent the last 30 years working to gain citizenship. He and his family moved to the U.S. from Jamaica when he was young. All right, for more, we're joined here in the studio mm -hmm. by Andre and his mom, Leonie Sr. Thank you so mm -hmm. much for, for being here today. Mm -hmm. Andre, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, this is thanks. really fantastic. Well, you, we're so happy for you. Mm -hmm. what, what was that moment like for you, take, taking the oath of citizenship? And, you know, it, 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 was a, it was such a long process, and then, you know, over the years when I neglected it, um, being battered by my mom and my grandmother, <laughs> get on top of it. I mean, there, there was a part of it when I, I took this whole process when I was 17 years old, but, but due to some issues with a family member not being a citizen, I could not become a citizen when I was 17 years old. Mm. So that, and then I started into my later teenage years and I neglected it. My mom and grandmother are like, uh, are, you need to get on. You need to get on. Yeah. Get on. Yeah. I completely neglected it. And then, um, a few years ago, I picked it back up, and then COVID interrupted everything. Mm. I was so close. I was literally supposed to go to the office again to address this and whole issue, pandemic. like a week mm. before the office is closed when the pandemic down. hit, and yeah. things were shut down. Yeah. And so it, it had taken so long, I had not gotten a response from the immigration office in so long that I just literally was talking to her about reapplying again. Ah, okay. Uh, um, mm -hmm. It doesn't normally take this long, mm -hmm. I, I should add, uh, but for my situation, it okay, did Okay, I want to pick longer. up on, on, yeah. on the process in a moment, but mom, how, how are you feeling? And what was that like today <laughs> for you? First, it started on Friday. I went to the mailbox uh -huh. and I put the mail on the counter and I said, you have mail? And he looked at it and he said, oh, snap. <laughs> look, at, look at this, mommy. And I said, what? And he said, naturalization. And I'm like, oh, holy yeah. cow, this is great yeah. because we've been waiting. She cried. And yeah. I had just said to him, like, two weeks before, we need to pick this up because I mean, election this, year. This, this, all, this has been and like this for And then he years. says, oh, I got to do all that paperwork again. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in my heart, I've been praying, Lord, open up the door, yeah. open up the Aww. door because we don't want to pay that money again. So when he said that, my thing was, I'm so happy that I'm here to be there with yeah. you. Oh, yeah, she just visited. Yeah, odds, you just I'm just visiting yeah. and decided oh, to stay a little longer. I got longer. notice last week. Yeah, it was meant last to be. Week. Yes, and, and, to be. and uh, I didn't I almost didn't open the letter and and. If I'm being honest here, she was being nosy, looking into my things, and she went to check my mailbox. Which she, she, she's, she's your mom. She's yes, my mom. She, yeah. I, it, it was I didn't open it. Unexpected. Unexpected. But she was like, oh, you have this letter here. And I'm like, oh, not another one. It's probably another. Just notice, just uh -huh. letting me know. But yeah. what did that letter say? That, okay. that, letter, that letter was key because that letter said, you have to be in San Francisco at the U.S. Immigration Office on Wednesday at 2 p.m. to take the naturalization oath. Okay. Wow. Something I had been waiting wow. for. So it's like, boy, if you had, been, had made plans or you were going to be out of town or I something. I just got back into town. Un that's unbelievable. And I didn't want to check How fortunate. Them. Yeah, and it was just, I just got back into town. I come into the country, and when I go in and out of the country, mm -hmm. I have to go through extra security. Sure. Yeah. Um, I don't have to do that now. Yeah. You yeah. know, when I get my uh, U.S. passport. So, okay, so then this has to be really yeah. meaningful for you to yes. be here, to help him, you know, you see that letter, put it right in front of him and say you yes. can't hold off, and then to be at that ceremony today. And I almost cried because I'm like, okay, God, you had this all set up. Mm. I'm just here to visit with him, spend a little time with him and his new doggy. <laughs> and then it, this happens. Oh, it's great. And, and this was, as we talked about, the culmination of, of, of a long yeah. journey for you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Several decades. Uh, yeah. and, and, and talk a little bit about your, your family's journey. Yes. You, you moved here from Jamaica yeah. when, when you were very young. Yes. And, and talk about why your, your parents decided to, to come here to this country. You want to talk about that. I, I never okay. thought about this, though. But. In President Biden has a pre taped message where he yeah. says it takes courage to take your entire family move to some place else that you really don't know. Yeah. And I, never, I just thought about it today that my parents did just that, looking for a better life for us, not yes. really knowing what was going to happen, mm -hmm. and took yes. us and, and my siblings and moved here and risked. Yes. Yeah. And, yes. and so, moved here. anyway, I didn't my, mean to interrupt. My mother you. initiated the whole process. Yeah. She says, I'm not there. Um, you should come. And I'm like, okay, we'll see. Mm -hmm. So she started the process. We got through, we came, and they went in school, 
And from there, we decided what's next. And she said, oh, you're all going to become citizens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so she filled out the application yeah. for me and yeah. all the children. But of course, my husband was with us. And he said he wasn't ready for his citizenship. And he wasn't yeah. aware that that would affect the children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so even yeah. though he had his interview, yeah. passed the interview and everything, and they said, just wait. We kept waiting and waiting and waiting. And it wasn't until one of his sisters applied for her citizenship on her own, and they found out that, oh, you were issued a green card. Where is it? She said, no, I never got a green card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's when we found out that, okay, something um, went on. Yeah, yeah. And they, so yeah. they processed her, refunded her her payment, the, her new payment. Yeah. And she said, no, Andre, something is going on. We got to get yeah. you going. And Sarah's so we started always, yeah. the process. <laughs> that sister is like a lawyer, even though she's not a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, it, it, you know, it, it, just, it, it, feel, it feels really good now to be, to be I, I grew up here. Mm -hmm. and. My success is a result of my parents bringing us here, yeah. hoping for success. And now that I have that success, I want to continue to live here, grow in this country, and I, I still want to do more. And I do want to do it here, and I want to do it as a U.S. citizen. Mm -hmm. And this really kind of just puts a cap on that. Yeah. You know, moving on to the next level, it's really kind of just been in the back of my head for so, so many years. Although my story is not the least bit interesting. There was a, a father and son there that also took the oath today. Today. Yeah. You know, I, I felt bad. Yeah, I don't think my story is most interesting. I think a father and son taking the no. oath, uh, every, the oath of naturalization. Every story, every story yeah. is meaningful yeah. in its own way because yes. you, you you think yes. about the journey mm -hmm. that that is behind yeah. each of, each yes. of those people who's yes. taking that oath today. Mm -hmm. So it's a really remarkable accomplishment. And, and I thank really all of you. I, I, was, you. I, I really never wanted to say anything. I've never really yeah. talked about this, but I, I wanted to thank everyone that I work with here. That's why I work here, right? Everyone was so supportive when they found out. Yeah. They're like, oh my God, you're becoming a U.S. citizen. I'm like, oh, I, I didn't so, realize. It's, it's so amazing. Yeah, it's it really incredible. Yeah. It's a great accomplishment. Yeah. And, and especially when we talk about right now how there are, there are some folks that, that take being an American citizen for granted. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. So, Mom, if I can ask you, what, are your, what is your kind of lasting message to, to folks at home who, who are U.S. citizens right now? I would say um, when you get the opportunity, Mm -hmm. Go for it and make the best of it because when you see the struggles that some people go through even though they came here as bona fide residents mm -hmm. and things happen, your family member might say, okay, I'm not ready. And as a child, you have to go by that rule. And now to see the journey my son has taken and to see where he is today and the ground that he has set here, I think it's a testimony to other families that no matter what happens, just pursue it. And, and, and we'll say That's this. That's a beautiful message. And we'll say this. You know, if you've never lived out of the country and had to come here and watch your parents work, do the, we call it the immigrant hustle where they're working many jobs. My mom has done many jobs, you know, which she doesn't have to do anymore, you know, because she, she, she helped raise me. I know there are a lot of problems in this country, but the, my, the reason my parents and so many other people come here is because of the opportunity yeah. that yes. this country provides. Yes. And if you can seize the opportunity, it, it's provided for you. It's not always like that in every other place. That's why they came here. Mm -hmm. They thought we'd have way more opportunities. And my parents love Jamaica. You know, it's not we don't have anything against sure. Jamaica, but this, these where the opportunities are. We had some family here and we were able to do it, and, and I'm glad that they were able to yeah. do that. Yeah. Really it's a beautiful yeah. story. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Yes, congratulations. Uh, again, to you. And to you yesterday Andre, when to you, he came and he Leonie. said to me, oh, mommy, do you make any big yeah. thing out of oh, yeah. this. Oh, we are, this. We're speaking of we making, a, making big a big thing out of something, out of it. we've got to <laughs> bring this into the shot here. I, oh. I, I said to him, you know, yeah. Maybe the Lord is using you as an example to yeah. other families because there are families yeah. out there who are lost in the process. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, yes. And they I need so. to yeah. hear a story like this sure. yeah. that a young help. man, uh, there's hope for him. He's now a citizen. He's free to do what he can do. And so he can even talk to other people. Yeah. Your story as, is yeah. going to inspire yes. others. I, I, your well, story, that's the case. I, I never thought I about yes, that. Your that story, way, but thanks, your yeah. story yeah. is yeah. not you your story. Yeah. It's to help someone else, but yes. it has to be told. And well, congratulations. Right. You guys are too Andre. sweet. Seriously, <laughs> you guys did I not have to go on. Wait, do we have a lighter for these? I thought we had candles on these. Hold on. Might be a little bit of a lighter. All right. <laughs> I was told we had sparklers out here. Oh, my right. goodness. We uh, do have to go to break. But, but, thank, uh, thank you so much for talking about your experience. Thank you for having us. Congratulations. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Right. Pleasure thank to you. meet you.